got some more times to box up on the subway. It's a long way to go to get out the lessons. Hey everyone, it's Ivan with KitBadger.com out here for another gear review. And today, talking backpacks, this guy right here, which is the Rex R2 by X Block Design. If you're unfamiliar with X Block Design, small company, I want to say like a one man show. And yeah, basically, a guy making some really high quality stuff. This Rex backpack being kind of the flagship, and then they also have another kind of do all carry bag. But this right here, I got sent out probably almost a year ago, and since then, been using it quite a bit, whether it's traveling or just doing some kind of everyday carry stuff. And yeah, ultimately put in some time with it. Before we go into how I've used it, we'll kind of take a look at this pack. First and foremost, the material they use, it's pretty amazing. It's almost kind of like this sailcloth material, really durable and water resistant. Yeah, super abrasion resistant. Stuff's held up really, really well. As far as overall design, you have a couple external pockets, a few internal pockets, but largely one main compartment. Clamshells open. So you have your zippers up here, unzip them, this piece comes out. On the sides, you have some of this PALS webbing, which personally, I could probably just do without. It isn't something that I would probably attach external pouches to, but you can. And for all those people that are like, oh, I'm a gray man, they're gonna know I have an everyday carry bag. No, they probably won't. Like there's pretty much PALS webbing on like everything these days. On the very back, you have some quilted padding in here, which in part is kind of nice. It actually gives it some shape if you don't have anything in it, and it makes more comfortable to carry stuff. The All the webbing, it's all bar tacked and everything like that. And these shoulder straps are actually kind of tapered as they come down, which is nice. And you, of course, have your adjustment here. There's no adjustment up top. They're basically sewn where they're sewn. One thing that is kind of cool while you have a grab handle, which is handy if you're just pulling it in and out, things along those lines, or you can just carry like that if you want. But rather than a lot of packs where they basically put a hydration spot right here so that you can run like a hydration tube out of there if you have a bladder, I think Camelback, something like that. Basically on either side of this handle, you actually have a hydration port. So you can actually run it from inside your pack out there, which really makes a lot more sense rather than having it come out around the side of your neck. Basically, it's just gonna come out like right over your shoulder, which honestly, kind of cool design right there. Towards the top on the outside of the pack, you have this section of Velcro. This right here is actually the patch of X-Block design. And then you have this top compartment. <laughs> When you open that zipper, YKK AquaGuard zippers. This compartment actually goes all the way down to here, in front of the pouch. And inside here, there's some organizers for like pins, things along those lines. Just go ahead and stuff that stuff in there and it's not gonna fall all the way to the bottom and get lost. Then on either side, more AquaGuard zippers. You can unzip these and reach in. This pouch actually goes all the way through one side to the other, and there's Velcro in here. So you can go ahead and mount pouches or other things like that that are Velcro backed and have them secured in there, easy to access. When we get into the main compartment, as I mentioned, clamshell, zippers that go all the way down, and it opens up. Definitely have some dirt in here, no big deal. Also, actually comes with one of these. It's pretty handy, secures things. Lift it up and undoes itself, or you can latch it back. But in here I also have this armor panel, 3A armor insert. This is the Premier Body Armor large universal fit, I guess. And it actually fits in here nicely. But these can obviously be moved up or down, or you can add other ones. Keep something secure in here, maybe a firearm, something like that. And then around the sides, there are more places to mount or hang things, such as the water bladder. And then in addition to that, this is all Velcro backed. 
So you can put pouches, things like that, all through this back panel. And then on the inside, you have this pouch. Again, cut through here. Both these zippers access it. And with this mesh netting, you can see anything that's in there. And then up top, same thing. This one right here goes, put whatever you want in there. You can obviously see through it, see what you're carrying organized inside this pack. With all that said, what has been my experience with the Rex R2 pack by X-Block Design? Well, I'm going to go ahead and start with, I'm not a college student. I don't commute to work. I don't necessarily like every day carry this. I have, however, taken it on some hikes, things along those lines, and I've also traveled with it. So I will bring this as a carry-on when I fly. And the way I usually work it is I'll go ahead and throw my laptop in here, little cooling platform for my laptop, because I'm like, please do not die on me. And then a couple DACA pouches full of cables, external hard drives, things I don't want, luggage handlers to break or lose for me. So this actually does a really good job. It's big enough to where I have a 15 inch MacBook Pro, sits in there really nice with all those other things and still have some room in there. I can go ahead and shove like a warming layer, like add a melty jacket, something like that in there and actually works out really well. Probably most of my like use with this has actually been running through some bag deployment drills, um, some of which with Bill Rapier of Amtac Shooting and just kind of working through getting a gun out of here because this being designed in part for that and yeah, getting some reps in with it. far as deploying guns, how is this thing done for me? It does a pretty good job. I will say from use, I would like to have kind of larger zipper pulls on here just to be able to grab this thing and rip it open. Granted, that's something I could obviously do. One thing I will say that I'm not a huge fan of on this pack when it comes to deploying guns is this mesh inside. The mesh Honestly, it's really nice because you can look and see what you have in there, which is handy. But when it comes to actually deploying guns out of bags, this stuff does not play well with charging handles, especially like AK style charging handles or actually the BRN 180. Not my favorite charging handle by any stretch, but it will grab this like no one's business and constantly hang itself up on there and even kind of like your regular charging handles or anything hanging off your gun for that matter, has a tendency to go ahead and grab this stuff. Personally, I would much rather this like really slick, even the same material, something along those lines, so that basically there's nothing to grab the gun when you're trying to deploy it. Something they did do an amazing job on, I will say with this pack though, is largely material selection and the bottom of the pack. So the bottom of the pack is that same material and they actually use that same material on the inside as well. There's another layer of it. And then in between these two layers, I don't know, probably like a closed cell foam or something along those lines. And does a couple of things. One, kind of gives it some shape depending on what you have in here. Or for that matter, even if you have kind of nothing in here, it gives it a little bit of shape but it also is really durable. So if you have your muzzle sticking into the bottom of your pack, it's not going to wear through after carrying the thing for about a week and just having like five or six pounds bouncing up and down on the muzzle. In addition to that, while it does give it a little bit of shape, it also disguises the shape. So rather than some like nylon, cordura, whatever, 
you put a three prong flash hider down there and it literally looks like you have a three prong flash hider trying to bust through the bottom of your pack. Even if you have something like that in there and it's pushed up against it, it doesn't betray what's in there basically. It doesn't print really. Like, yeah, you could be like, oh, like something is sticking down there, like the muzzle or something, but it doesn't scream like, oh, like there's a three prong flash hider about to rip through the bottom of your Jansport pack. They did a really good job with material selection as well as the bottom of this pack for carrying weapons. Who do I think this Rex R2 pack would be good for? Anyone looking for a really solid everyday carry backpack. This thing is really well built and it kind of spans the spectrum. As I mentioned, I've traveled with it and does great for a carry-on, being able to throw those high value things like laptop, hard drives, things like that. And there's enough organization in here that you can keep everything separate. So it's very easy to get at, especially while traveling, especially in those mesh compartments, being able to open it up, see exactly what you have right there, definitely handy. And the Velcro backing in there, if you're the type of person that uses those Velcro pouches, things like that, does a really good job. As far as deploying guns from this, as I mentioned, the one thing to be aware of is, which honestly is pretty much with any bag that you're gonna deploy a gun from, snag hazards. Just make sure your gun is as slick as it can be. Some charging handles are definitely worse than others, but just be aware, it can end up grabbing on the inside on that mesh netting. I will say the bottom, really well executed, being able to pretty much hide whatever you happen to have in here so it's not like printing essentially. And overall, just a really well-built backpack. If you wanna pick one of these up, they're kinda of made to order in small batches, but you can find them over X Block Design. Price-wise, you're looking at, I don't know, a little bit north of $200. Is that expensive? You're like, I want it for half the price and a quarter of quality. Yeah, go look, you can probably find it. This is made of some really awesome materials, basically hand-stitched here in the States, and you end up paying for it but overall super rugged and versatile backpack design. And if you appreciate my content and wanna support it, greatly appreciate it. Whether it's liking and sharing videos or going over to kitbadge.com, picking up stickers, KBAT target pads, patches, things along those lines, or you can purchase shirts through Teespring. All of it goes to support me going out, creating more content for you. But as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.